Good evening. Uh, most know me, but if not, my name is Darren Freedom Green. Uh, I want to apologize for being a little late today. I was actually taking about 10 young people, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, to their first city council meeting. And, and the importance of doing that is not so I can show off or get a pat on the back, because most who are in this room here, you're civically engaged, you're civically empowered, you're civically educated. So you understand the dynamics and the importance of that. What happens, and it doesn't get talked about enough, in impoverished communities like Trenton, most people are disconnected from the process. And no one takes time to talk to them and explain that they're really the most empowered component of the process when they become engaged. But if you wait until they're grown, until they're caught up in life and then they're in a constant state of survival, they really don't have time to listen to what you're talking about because they're trying to just survive. And then the media will say they don't care or they don't want better. And that's not necessarily the truth. People just simply need to know what better looks like, then have better defined for them, then laid out in terms of what better requires from them, and they will valiantly fight for better. So in terms of taking these young people here, the first thing they asked when they went into the City Hall was, where are all the people because of the empty seats? And here's a city, I think, what in the range of 80,000 people, maybe the number's a little lower now, and no one's there at the meeting that's dealing with the issues that create the conditions they have to exist in. And again, this is so important that we leave out of meetings like this and not pat ourselves on the back, but then find people who don't know and begin to empower them by educating them on what we do know. Because again, how important is that? I wanted to salute, and I did earlier, Director Perry for the phenomenal work that they did in capturing a young man who murdered Mr. Wells. But again, here's the question. What happens if we civically engage young people like the young man who did that, and we begin to help him value himself, life, and reality? Maybe that doesn't unfold in our community. So again, civic engagement is about the rights and duties of citizens. And I think too many times we get in groups like this and we know everybody in the room. So the question I always ask people, if you know everybody in the room and you know everybody in the room knows better, who are you teaching? We have to begin to move beyond the walls and the confines of our comfort zone and begin to teach the people who don't know. Because I assure you, they want better. It's just simply somebody taking time to pour a little love in them, explain to them what better looks like, and then understand that civic education and empowerment isn't relegated to election cycles. And that's really what happens in small communities like Trenton and Camden and, and North. People are only engaged and talked to and empowered during election cycles. And then the switch is turned back off, and then they're left to go on alone. I say to people all the time, civic engagement is every second you breathe. Wherever you are, there's something you could be learning and doing to empower yourself, your community, and your city. And those become the change agents who change the dynamics of the reality we list in. So, my message is simple. I'm not going to belabor you because you already know better. But I ask you and challenge you, when we begin to deal with situations and scenarios, ask yourself, who did you teach today? Who did you empower today? Who did you educate today? Who did you help become a person who wants better so they can bring better to this city? And then we'll get in rooms like this, and it'll be packed to capacity because people will actually understand the dynamics of their power, and then we'll build a movement that will move this city to be better. I'm committed to doing that. You're here, so I know you are. And Citizens Campaign is a phenomenal medium that removes all the excuses. It lays out the groundwork for whatever you want to work on and allows you to help other people see that we're the most powerful component of the equation when it comes to change. We just have to work with each other, talk to each other. You don't even have to like each other. Just understand that whatever we're working on, that's the goal. I come in rooms and I don't get caught up in personalities or titles and all of that, I just say, what's the goal and how can I assist everyone here in getting there? And I find that Citizens Campaign is doing that wherever they are. You know, I was teaching today earlier about tier one and tier two. And again, people living in impoverished communities don't know about that until it's too late. And now their health care is, is in a place now where they're marginalized and they can't get the things they need and they actually stop caring about those things. So civic engagement is really, if you want to put it down to it, it's life itself. And we have a responsibility and a duty to go out and teach people what better is, what the prerequisites of better is, and then allow them to understand that they can be better, and then collectively we become our best. Thank you.